right guys, this is Lucy. Lucy is an approximately eight year old albino corn snake. She's very active right now, but she's got such a pretty pattern. I thought I would use her colors as an inspiration for an eye look. So I'm going to try to keep her with me while we're doing this. And I have no idea what's about to happen. Please get around. No, where are you going? don't want any chemical, you know, risks with her, but um, currently she's making it a little difficult to do anything. She's very warm. She's been in her basking spot and um, so she's just active right now. Just going to touch up some areas that I want a little more matte so that when we lay down the powders, it's not too much of a mess. Good girl. I'm sorry, you can't even see her. Okay, so I actually used an orange blush as a base over my eyes because I had a meeting earlier and I just wanted something um, instead of just a naked eye. I also did my mascara, but I'm just going to ignore that and do this. So her her patterning, it's not even circles, actually, it's kind of almost a, I don't know what you'd call that, like a trapezoid shape. I'm making this up as I go along. I'm going to put the blush down as a base, but then I'm going to use some dark orange to kind of create that shape that she's got. I'm going to use this very flat, tiny brush to try and get some dark orange on there. I have a Dominique Cosmetics palette and they've got two very dark oranges here, burnt orange. So I'm going to take the one called Storm Dust and just kind of pat in an irregular shape here. You can't eat my toothbrush, come on. So that that's pretty good. And then I think, I don't know, can I replicate it? Good girl. That one looks a lot more square, but she's got blotches. So it kind of doesn't matter if it's straight lines. Okay, that went well, so I'm going to find a small blending brush. I'm so bad at finding brushes, guys. It's, so I'm going to use like kind of a longer blending brush and tap into that color again and kind of try to blend the edges a little bit without losing the shape. I'm going to use a laundry bag to create some scale patterns on my face. Um, I'm going to dip into that deep orange and I've got a flat kabuki brush. It's not, it's kind of like a half kabuki brush, but let's see. I think I want to do it kind of in a contour line. It's hard because you can't see it real well. <laughs> um, but 
we're making it up as we go. It worked. I'm gonna do a little on the forehead. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna look ridiculous for a minute. Now I can't see it. Oh. What the things we do for YouTube. Are you hissing at me? Are you scared of the bag? She's being a good girl. All right, I want less chin happening here, so I'm gonna do it here too. And this is good, it actually got on my nose a little bit, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some here over the bridge. Cool. Since she obviously has some white on her, I'm going to go into my face paint palette and uh, put some white down and then see if that works. I'm trying to use a sponge for um, like just a regular wedge sponge um, for the face paint. It doesn't take much water at all. There we go. To really get it um, moving. Okay, that's working. I'm gonna follow the kind of the highlight areas that we would normally put. It, some people would normally put highlighter and do this dark light thing. See, that's a good girl. Can you just stay there and be content for a moment? Just trying to tap it a little bit to make it look not as splotchy, but it, I want it to be a bit chaotic. I like that a lot. So albino doesn't actually mean white. It means no black. So it take the albino gene takes away the black pigment, whether it's in a human or a snake or a bird, anything. Um, so humans come in shades of brown. So when you take the black away, it it's you know a very white looking skin color. With snakes, they come in all different kinds of colors, reds and blacks and browns and blues and greens. <laughs> She's upside down again. So when you take the black away, they turn into a much different color scheme, like the oranges and yellows that you see with her. Maybe that's what I can do, is just kind of do some yellowy orange to kind of blend the um, harsher lines. So thank you, Albino Corn Snake, for the inspiration there. I'm gonna try this here just lightly to see if I can blend a little bit in. Just kind of following the line of the scales here and buffing it. Again, I'm just making it up as I go. I'm going to tap in a little bit to this orange next to it because I think that'll actually make the right combination of the color that I want. But she does have, Lucy does have, like, you're coming. She does have some yellows. That's doing, that's going well. And then with my skin tone, it actually kind of works for those peachy things in between. I'm 
I'm just kind of filling in the areas that aren't covered by anything. I kind of look like Halloween candy right now. I'm looking at her and me here. So this is the slightly lighter orange in the Dominique Cosmetics. I'm going to do an orange lip with Wet n Wild Cloud Pout. It's called Tangerine, I believe. Sorry, it's called Sugarholic. It is way brighter orange than she is. Uh, But I'm going with it. I'm going to try to make the white a little brighter. She is climbing the wall right now, for real. These earrings match my shirt, which is purple and peach, but they don't match this <laughs> snake look at all. Well, my teeth look really yellow right now. They're not, I promise. That's gross looking. All right, I'm gonna um, make this darker and a little more defined. Because I liked that shape and I've kind of lost it at this point. You're gonna fall. You're not around me. I'm also gonna darken up that lipstick because that's a bit wrong for this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not hurting her by moving her around like that. I've worked with a lot of snakes between my wildlife work and my personal pets. She's in a, um, her species is in a family called Colubridae, which is the most common snakes people have for pets, corn snakes, king snakes, uh, milk snakes, I believe. Uh, ball pythons are obviously in a different category. They're pythons. Um, I'm not as familiar with them. I've had them in the past. Um, but corn snakes are very common and I, I recommend them. They She's maybe four feet long. Um, they don't get much bigger than that. And uh, they're very docile. They're very friendly. They're nice pets. They're good. Aren't ya? Yeah. I feel like I need something more here. Taking some of that yellow orange and just kind of buffing it in. girl. She doesn't know that I'm calling her a good girl. I'm just kind of using a calm voice, but they can hear somewhat, but their ears are nothing like ours. And I have not done enough research on it to currently give you a lesson on that. I'm gonna take a medium orange and try to like create a blush ish. Okay, 
So I wanted these kinds of blotches around with the white poking through, and I think we've got that. Let me go change my lip. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try another Wet n Wild lipstick. All the products will be mentioned below. This one's called Extra Cinnamon, please, and it's a it's a, like a fall orange, but I think it'll go better with this. Much better. And I also changed my shirt, obviously. I also have gold snake earrings. I think I'm gonna wait until I'm almost done because I guarantee you she's gonna go through the loops. Still not completely happy with this square. I think I need to make it bigger. I know the points are different here, but I'm gonna cover it with Sparkle, even though snakes don't have sparkle, I know. Obviously, I'm not going to bring it down to my neck because snake. Right. Okay, um, I'm going to try to create a halo effect with my eyes. Obviously snakes don't have this, but it's in a snake inspired look. This is a wet and wild, I'm using a lot of wet and wild today. Um, this is a wet and wild, it's called like a blush lighter or something. It's basically two highlighters that are gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna use this down here a little bit too. It is, it's kind of peachy, I wish I had discovered this sooner but I didn't know what I'd be doing. Kind of rub it in the highlight spot. This looks really bare to me. So let's put a blob there, shall we? All right, I'm gonna try the very shimmery side of the Wet n Wild product. And then I think because of the halo, I don't wanna block it with false lashes. Oh, that got a little weird. I actually have a video on how to do halo eyeshadow looks. Okay. I'm gonna curl my lashes again. However, I did put mascara on them earlier. So be careful when your lashes are, I'm gonna call it crispy. You know the, the feeling um, when you use a curler after you put mascara on them it can break them so I'm gonna be very careful but I do want my lashes to be curled All right, I'm gonna be very careful coming off of it wow those curled a lot though All right, so I am cheating a little bit putting a black mascara on an albino snake look so just forgive me for that just pat my hair back. I never know what to do with my hair. I usually have it in a ponytail. And then the wispies just go crazy. This is still bothering me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just I need that.
If anybody knows where I can get albino snake earrings, <laughs> that would be cool. Sorry about the background, guys. I try to, like, crop out the bathroom setting, but my best light is in here. So I don't have fancy lights to film with yet. Maybe in the future, if people can subscribe. And I think this is going to be my finished look. Why are you upside down? This is gonna be long blooper reel. Um, she's not gonna be cooperating. She's not gonna be cooperating for too long of a time. So, again, with the upside down. Did you watch Stranger Things? Huh? Good girl, that's a good girl. I just gotta do this one-handed. <laughs> You're still upside down. You in my hair? They always go in your hair. Oh my gosh, she really likes this toothbrush. And I, no, no, snake on the run. Snake on the run. <laughs> this is a juggling act. Where are you going? Again, with the toothbrush. Processing, processing. Toothbrush check. Oh, you're gonna fall. That's why you have to go in a circle. 